Assalamu alaikum Adumi gang. This is Adam Saleh and I am back here with another video. As you guys can see, I am finally back home. I missed my place so much. I also miss my Habibi Simba. What's up Simba? How you doing? Out of all the kittens that I have, well that my nieces have, because they're now full-time breeders, I love Simba the most. Because he just loves to like... He cuddled and pet. He's so cute, man. I miss you, man. But at the same time, I miss Dubai so much. There is no place like Dubai. I would love, love to live there. Or maybe I will be living there soon. Anyways, I am back home here because I have to go to a really, really important family wedding. And you guys are going to be in shock. But yes, I had one more video in Dubai that I wanted to upload today. So do me, gang. Enjoy the video. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Big news coming soon. I'll see you guys in the next shot. Let's get it. But before we get this vlog started, this video is brought to you guys by Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends has taken over. It is the first ever game to bring in a true console level experience to your phone. There ain't going back now, let's get it baby. You can explore millions of champion combinations. There are over 500 champions blessed with unique skills. You can build your team and develop your champion. Use the link in my description down below to download Raid Shadow Legend for yourself for free to your mobile phone or PC. The link is down below. Down below. I've been playing Raid Shadow Legends for the last few days and these are my favorite champions. I've been using Bellinor. I call him the one hitter quitter because he literally has one job. He hits one guy as hard as he possibly can and then hides. He is really really good for a clan boss. He will be a great great leader. Bellinor that is one of my favorite champions. I also love using a best she is so so good she is a pvp goddess that uses her enemy strength against them seriously if i had a superpower that's what i would do give my enemies a taste of their own medicine there are so many more champions that you guys would love raid shadow legends just released a ton of new clan features and improvements there are new benefits for every single clan member just for being in a clan and even a brand new clan shop that gives you access to some powerful items i love playing with other people so i love their new content that they updated this month. This month's also got new champions to collect from fragments in the Doom Tower. If you want to get a head start with Raid Shadow Legends, click the link in my description and you will get an epic hero who is amazing in the Doom Tower. So if you click the link in my bio, you will get all the treasure and all the bonuses, 200k silver, one XP boost, one energy refill, and one ancient shard. So you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get in game. It'll be waiting for you right there at the treasure, right there. Once you're in, you can find me in the game under the name Adam Saleh 93 and if you're fast you can join my clan so I'll see you guys in raid thank you raid for sponsoring this video I'll see ya hey, do me gang so we are finally settled in our new apartment here in Dubai this is gonna be our second home real real soon so stay tuned there is some big news coming it is gonna be so so excited it's about our boxing our YouTube my music and about us moving here to Dubai the reason why we've been here for so long is because we've been signing a lot of deals and slowly becoming residents here so inshallah real real soon you guys will know the big news follow my instagram adam Saleh if you guys want to stay updated with everything in the behind the scenes i am back to uploading vlogs for you guys so make sure you guys subscribe and put your notifications on if you want to stay updated and be the first to know whenever i upload anyways it is time for the moment of truth. As you guys know, I had a boxing match on July 30th here in Dubai with Noor Star's sister, I mean brother. <laughs> The whole event was literally amazing. It was so flawless. The production was amazing. The fight was so entertaining. I've seen a lot of you guys telling me that it was worth the pay-per-view that you guys bought for $9.99, which wasn't even that much because it was like a whole show. We had Guru performing. We had a Boogie performing. We had Money Kicks, Rashid fighting. We had Slim with the KO. And there was a lot more KOs in that event. Social Knockout was a success. Everything was so amazing. But the only bad experience that I had was... 
I mean, she don't even look like this. And it was honestly really, really childish because usually after a fight, everyone is usually humble and nice and you show your respect. But I ain't seen none of that with her and her whole family. I mean, I get it. You can violate someone before the fight. She was already like sticking middle fingers at me and cursing at me right when I was entering the ring. Hey, the trash talking's beginning. Oh my God, I mean, she literally went to Adam and talked to him. Which I didn't mind. I get it. You know, that's before the fight. I was just looking at her and I gave her a little wink. I'm pumped for this fight, man. I think she said that I was giving her kisses, but I was not blowing any kisses at all. I don't think I would want to blow kisses at you anyways. All I did was do a wink and smile just to show her like, like, yo, it just ain't nothing. But yes, she was so, like, I get it, your energy is insane, but she was being so, so disrespectful. My dad, who was 71 years old, was sitting near her. Yeah. And when he got up trying to record me, she literally snitched to the security guards on my dad and the security guards had to escort my dad back to his seat. My dad was so mad because he couldn't get to do a video. Mind you, my dad has no clue who the heck Newer Stars even is. The security was next to Newer Stars and they were kind of telling her like, chill, you need to stop cursing, you know, cursing and screaming. And she ended up saying, look, but look at him, look at, look at him. Pointing at my dad, like telling the security, like, look at him, look what he's doing. This was during the fight and I got a little video of it. It is right here. <laughs> So yeah, she was doing it before the fight, during the fight, that's cool. But after the fight, this is where it shows like your true colors. It shows, you know, how you really are. After the fight, I go to Noor Stars and her family. I go to her and her family and I'm speaking to them in Arabic like, like I respect you guys, I'm a big fan, and I'm a big fan for YouTube. And while I was talking, Noor Stars' mother, she literally takes her finger, puts it on my neck, and starts cursing me out in Arabic and I was Literally, like, I felt ashamed. I was like, whoa, like, I was kind of embarrassed. I, I didn't know what to say, but I continued to say what I was saying, and I kept repeating what I was saying. Like, I respect you guys. I actually like what you guys are doing. But her mother continued to literally stab my freaking neck. I believe New Star's sister, I don't know what's her name, Banana, ben, ben, I don't know. She was giving me the dirtiest look, looking away. And then I looked to the right to see my family, and I see my mom and dad literally hugging my opponent and I was like damn yo my family is showing so much love you know giving him so much love literally my dad kissed him on the head my mom my sister all of them showed so much love and then literally I look at Noor Stars and they are treating me with such disrespect honestly I was a fan of her and I respected her but since they show no respect especially after the fight then I'm gonna do the same I ain't gonna respect you at all I never even cursed her out before the fight all I had was this shirt but I never said F you to her as what her brother did he said F you to my niece Trash. fuck you fuck your niece hey, yo, hey, buddy. Yo. but like Damn, I respected you, and I was expecting you to do the same, especially after the fight. I was liking what you're doing, but seeing your true colors, especially after the fight, now I'm gonna do the same. You're gonna get treated how you treat other people. So you know what? Take this. Take this. Take this. You ain't no stars. You're newer nobody. Next time, I really hope you learn to have some respect, especially when I'm in your face and the whole time, literally I kept saying, I respect you. I respect you, like I'm showing nothing but respect and you just continue to show your ugly personality. It's honestly disgusting and, and especially when you see your other family members doing that, it just shows who you really are. So I really hope you learn to have some respect next time, especially to my father who's old. You're lucky my sister ain't do nothing because my sister was there and she would've gave you a quick little boo uppercut, but she's not disrespectful like you, so, so yeah. That's the truth about North Star. Very, very nasty personality. But it's whatever, what goes around, comes around. If you treat people like that, you will get treated the same right back. Anyways, y'all, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm back to doing vlogs. I'll see you guys next time. Take care and peace. Love you.